spiritual scriptures, books in the planet Earth. From the time immemorial, human beings are creating spiritual scriptures. Continuously, human beings are creating spiritual books. Bhagavad Gita, the book on which we will be speaking, we will be studying, is incomparable. You can't compare this book with any other book. Not just because we are speaking on this book. But I can say one thing for sure, there is no other book which has penetrated human consciousness so deeply. There is no other book which has made so many enlightened beings on the planet earth like Bhagavad Gita. There is no other book which is a complete encyclopedia of spirituality. I can say the Bhagavad Gita is unabridged dictionary and encyclopedia of spirituality. All the spiritual scriptures can be classified in three ways. One is Shastras, means the books which gives you the clarity about the aim or the goal of the human life. Shastra means the book which teaches you how to live, what is the purpose of life, what is the goal of the life, which gives you an intellectual understanding about the ultimate man, God, life, all your major questions are answered intellectually, logically. We go on, we can put any type of questions, you will have the answer. Logically you will be convinced to follow the ultimate path, that is Shastras. There are so many hundreds of examples we can give. This is Shastra, even Ten Commandments. They are Shastras. The books which gives you regulations, do's and don'ts, vidhi and nisheda. Do's and don'ts, which tells you what has to be done and what should not be done, which guides you in the life. It is called Shastra. There is another kind of literature which is Stotra. The man who realized the ultimate, the man who has experienced the truth, the person who had the glimpse of the divine love, the divine experience, or his self who has seen the reality. He expresses his joy. It is called Stotra. You worship, you surrender yourself to the Divine. That is Stotra. The literature from heart. Literature from head is Shastra. Literature from heart is Stotra. There is another kind of literature which is called Sutra, means which gives you the technique to reach that state. If you put faith as the first criteria to enter into the spiritual life, you are almost refusing to give spirituality for 90% of the human beings. It is not 
very easy to believe anything immediately. You cannot. You cannot believe. And especially in the modern days, the word believe, faith, all these words are outdated. These words can't have any more meaning. These words are totally out of our life. You can't say only a person who believes who has got faith, they can come to, he can come to spirituality. Spirituality should be given for every being. We should create a system through which we can reach every individual. Our Vedic seers, rishis have created shastras, scriptures, which will give intellectual understanding. Logically, you will be clear of what is the path, what is the goal, why you are asked to do all these things, what for we need spirituality. All these major questions are answered intellectually in Shastras. Shastras gives you a basic understanding what is exactly life, what for we are here. All your questions are analyzed intellectually, logically. The conclusions are given to you. We need to understand few things about the Shastras. Shastra is a scripture which completely takes away all your doubts. Samsaya Rakshasa Nasa Mahastram. Samsaya is the Rakshasa. Please understand. Samsaya is the Rakshasa. Doubt is a devil. Once the doubt enters into your mind, till you are cleared, you can't sleep, you can't rest. Shastras helps you to get rid of these doubts intellectually. One thing you should understand about the intellectual clarity. Unless you have a complete intellectual clarity, even if you believe, your belief will be pseudo. Please be very clear, your belief will be pseudo. Anybody can shake your belief. Anybody can shake your faith. Your faith will not have a strong base. Your faith is almost a building without foundation. If you build without foundation, what will happen to the building? The same thing will happen to you if you don't have the base of Shastras. Somebody asks Vivekananda, Swamiji, what is the importance of Vedas? Why should we study the Shastras? Vivekananda says, if you study the Shastras, all your faith, all your sincerity, everything will become so strong Nobody can shake your faith and sincerity. Next comes Stotras. Stotra means expressing your experience. Expressing your experience or expressing your devotion, love to the master or the God, to the Guru or the God. Expressing your deep love is stotra. You stand in front of the divine. You stand in front of the Lord and you recite your feeling, you express your feeling. Many people ask me, what is this Swamiji? In your Hinduism you have idol worship. I tell them, no, Hinduism don't have idol worship. We don't worship the idol. We worship through the idol. Please understand. There is a very big difference between worshipping the idol and worshipping through the idol. When you stand in front of the God, when you stand in front of the idol, do you say, O oh stone, please give me boon. O oh stone, please heal me. O oh stone, please save me. No. You say, O oh God, please save me. O oh Lord, please save me. 
ओ प्रभो प्लीज सेव मी प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वी डोंट वर्शिप द आइडल वी वर्शिप थ्रू द आइडल सो व्हाट वी आर नॉट डूइंग इज नॉट आइडल वर्शिप हिंदुइजम डोंट हैव आइडल वर्शिप वी वर्शिप थ्रू द आइडल इन वैष्णविजम देर इज अ ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड अर्चावतार मीन्स द आइडल विच इज वर्शिप इन द टेम्पल इज कॉल्ड इनकारनेशन ऑफ गॉड अर्चावतार इनकारनेशन ऑफ गॉड इट इज नॉट जस्ट अ स्टोन इनकारनेशन मीन्स द डिवाइन डिसेंडिंग ऑन द प्लानेट एर्थ जस्ट लाइक हाउ वी हैव ऑल द इनकारनेशन इयर देर आर ऑल दिस टेन इनकारनेशन दशावतार मत्स्यावतार पूर्मावतार नरसिंहावतार वामन all these avatars are there just like in incarnations just like all these avatars the stone or the idol which we worship in the temple is called archavatara we relate to the divine through the vigraha through the murti when you stand and pour yourself it is called stotra all the sons of harvas Nine Mars, Mira, Chaitanya, all these songs written by the great devotees. These are called stotras. The next thing is sutra. Sutra is a kind of literature which gives you a technique to reach the enlightenment, which is shown. by the shastras to reach the devotion the ultimate bhakti which is expressed by stotras shastras are from intellectual level stotras are from emotional level sutras are from being level there are three kinds of human beings who are head oriented who are heart oriented who are being oriented to fulfill every kind of human being our rishis have created three kind of literatures enlightened people have created three kind of literatures shastra stotra and sutra here is a book which is all three put together and something more Bhagavad Gita is the only book i can say one and only book which is stotra shastra and sutra 